We call biomimicry the conscious emulation of nature's genius. It's a way to derive inspiration from nature to solve similar human challenges. We're not talking about directly copying nature. We use the word mimic, but emulate's actually a much stronger and more appropriate word because we're abstracting those design principles. What makes it work so well for a given organism or a given ecological system? And how can we take those design principles back to figure out better ways of, of operating as a species on this planet? If you think of the dung beetle, that example is how nature takes all waste and converts it into raw material. So nothing in nature is really garbage that can't be reused. Another principle or deeper pattern of nature that we work with is multifunctional design. For example, the exoskeleton of a beetle. It's used to communicate, it becomes a water barrier, protects from UV light. How do you use this pattern of multifunctional design and actually apply it? ASU has some really unique strengths, which makes it very appropriate to be a center where we bring biomimicry. One, ASU has been leading in interdisciplinary education. Biomimicry is something that can benefit tremendously from this. So if we have biologists and engineers, designers, ASU is also focused on sustainability. One of the goals of the Biomimicry Center is to do biological inspired design, do biomimicry thinking as a means of moving us towards a more sustainable world. One of the things that we're working on in the center is really looking at place-based biomimicry. So we're looking at the Sonoran Desert. Some of the biggest challenges in the world have to do with temperature regulation, things like water conservation. I think in many ways the desert around us holds inspiration for a lot of the challenges that people are facing all around the world. In terms of the educational offerings from the center, uh, we have a online certificate program, an online Master of Science, and we'll be doing smaller workshops and other courses on campus on biomimicry as well. The graduate certificate is designed for people who have a career. I want to be an architect, I want to be an industrial designer, I'm definitely going into business, and want to bring biomimicry to that discipline. And then the master's program is designed for people who want biomimicry itself to be their career, that are interested in facilitating the practice of biomimicry in the world. In terms of the research, we are launching three research programs. Our three main areas of interest in research are resilient cities, looking at uh, sustainable materials and chemistry, and unpacking the, the issue of additive manufacturing. And then in terms of outreach, uh, what we'd like to do is connect with other universities, connect with local groups like the Desert Botanical Garden, connect with schools K through 12, and see how we can take this idea of biomimicry beyond ASU, beyond the center, out into the world. We want to be a place where people can come to and ask those questions, find out how they can get involved, and, and then we're here to help make that happen.